And now we're going to check out this one, which I got from Limited Run a while back, called Melon Journey, which is a RPG. Yeah, really awesome. Uh, and it's not in the box! <laughs> where is it? I think I know where it is. Bear with me one second. Uh, and it is not where I thought it was. There was a bunch of Game Boy games there, but it's not any of them. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see, is it in here? We might have to pick a different game if I can't find it. It's all right. Found it. It wasn't too far away. There it is. Look at the cartridge for that. I really like it. it yeah, it's like a melon, I guess. Like see-through green color. Really cool. I love it when they do unique cartridge designs. So let's put it in. There we go. And let's check out what Melon Journey is all about. Quite excited to play this one because it is um, a remake or a sequel to uh, oh, the control was disconnected. There we go. It's a remake or a sequel to a... What am I trying to say? RPG Maker game. I don't really know much about it, but anyway, here we go. Melon Journey. So we have two characters. We have Cantaloupe or Honeydew. Which do you prefer? Let's do Honeydew. Looks like a looks like a Sanrio character. Yesterday morning, you and your friend set off on a camping trip to the Melon Forest. After spending the day fishing and harvesting wild radishes, it began to get dark, so you both agreed to set up camp and start a fire. Your friend went to gather firewood while you pitched the tent. Soon after, a heavy storm rolled in. Your friend was nowhere to be seen. You figured that they had probably taken shelter and that you would go and find them in the morning. When it had stopped raining, today you are headed off to the nearby town to see if you can meet up with your friend. Dot dot dot. Okay. Ah, that is bright. You can probably see my face is illuminated bright green. I did mention it earlier, but look at the size of the screen that I'm playing it on. It's like right in front of my face. And it's bright green. But, uh, let's do this while I stare into the sun. I wish there was a, ma a way of making the screen a bit smaller, but I don't think you can do that. That storm last night was really tough. The castle was struck with lightning, and so were a couple trees around here. Thankfully, I was at home, safe in bed. What, your friend got lost last night? Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find them somewhere. Somewhere warm, sipping on lavender tea. Maybe, but I doubt it, because that wouldn't be much of a game. Love the DMG green. Yeah, actually, this is a Game Boy Color game, I think, but everything is in green anyway. So I think they've intentionally gone for this green colour because you wouldn't be able to get that blue tax box otherwise. Uh, this here is the Kitten King's castle. The king refuses to speak with anyone who isn't a kitten. Okay, what happens if I go in then? Am I a kitten? Or am I like a rabbit? We cannot let you pass. I can't stop staring at that painting. Okay, what's the painting? It's a painting of Kitten King's mother holding him wrapped in an emerald blanket. And this one is a painting of the Kitten King. He's striking a royal pose, or he looks it looks more like a battery, but okay. Kitten King, what are you doing in my castle? Trying to talk to my daughter? Nice try, no one gets to the princess without first gaining my trust. And I don't trust anyone who isn't a kitten like myself. Okay, fine. Let's go somewhere else then. That dialogue got me to check the paintings out. Yeah, it did. It's quite nice that they... you can interact with things like that. I'm out here collecting wild mushrooms. I'm even wearing my special mushroom hunting boots. You're not wearing any boots! I can see your feet! Unless they're like skin-coloured boots. Snowy mountains ahead. 
Richard Ham's house. Hello, Richard Ham. I was expecting you to be a pig. Yo, you know, life is full of troubles for guys like us, don't you think? Here I am with this beautiful six-pack of melon sodas, but they're too warm to even consider drinking. If you come across anything I can use to cool these babies down, come straight back here and I'll be sure to reward you handsomely. There's a small eggshell, but you ignore it. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, we have to come here and bring him a fridge or some ice or something? Uh, which way should we go? We can go down, we can go right, or we can go up. Snowy mountains ahead. Let's see where we can go up here in the snowy mountains. This is even more blinding. Actually, the analog pocket has filters now on the dock. So, maybe we can try some of these? Oh, that's even harder to, to look at. That probably doesn't look too good on stream either because it's uh, scaled. Yeah, that's just weird looking at something this big with that grid line over it. Uh, I guess we can try the plus mode, see what that looks like. I guess that just keeps the, uh, the colours of this one. Okay, you can change the colours and make them a bit less sharp. Maybe that's a bit better. Let's leave it at that. Snow Rabbit, what is a ham's favourite hiding place? I've been thinking all day and I still can't figure it out. I won't leave this spot until someone tells me. Uh, okay, is it an igloo? Hey pal, you look a little worried, are you okay? When I'm feeling cold, taking a trip to the mountains always warms me up. Oh, ice? I don't have any on me right now. Papa over there must have what you're looking for. What's that? You want some ice? I'd be happy to pick some ice up for you, but it's too slippery for me to walk outside. If only we had something to melt the ice. Is this game just going to be a big fetch quest, then? Whoa, did I make it to the top of the mountain? That was easy. It's a bit of a weird background. What, what is the scale here? What's going on? Nothing else to do up here? Can't get past any of them trees. Weird music too. And a weird tree pattern. I was expecting something to be up there. Alright, let's try going right instead. We need to find some shoes for those people who live in the igloo, I guess. It's a car-shaped bed. Is this Millhouse's dad's house? This furniture is not for sale. Okay. I wasn't trying to buy it. I don't even know if I've got any money. Oh, I haven't got anything inside. I'm getting out of this town. There's a whole world waiting for me. Okay. Good for you. Put some clothes on. Anything over here? We have a bench and a light. We can't do anything. Oh, we can go up here. We found another house. Matthew's house. Hi, Matthew. At least you've got clothes on. You're not going to look through my dresser, are you? Uh, I am now. There are batteries. Take them? Of course. You put the batteries in your backpack. There are battery-shaped lumps under the sheet. Why does he love batteries so much? Okay. You better not have taken my batteries. Maybe. I don't know whether I was supposed to or not. I have them. Batteries. The packaging is designed in a strawberry style. What? I don't see any strawberries. Why did I just go and steal some batteries off someone? What's going on? Uh, does he want batteries? No, he just wants to leave. Uh, where are we now? Is this new? Please don't step on the flowers. Uh, I don't really have a choice. They're everywhere. I'm a dangerous dude. I don't obey any rule. Wah, me neither. I just stole some batteries and now I'm standing on flowers.
Oh wow, we found a town, okay. Hello. I've got two things on my mind, small bugs and long socks. It looks like the bird in that tree is trying to say something. What tree? This one? A small bird sitting on a branch looks at you and chirps. What's up? Is that it? This game's weird, just like there's no actual story to it. Saltine's house. You've got another very empty house. I've got a clammy heart. Oh, not that I enjoy eating clams or anything. What? What? There is a keychain of a small plastic pop star figurine. It appears that the table's been used as a bed. Okay. What is this game? Like, what am I trying to do? What is... What is talking to these people achieving? He's mumbling and you can't understand him. Okay. An oversized dumbbell. You're not strong enough to lift it. It's a chair. Okay. You can tell me what the chair is, but you can't tell me what the bed is. Pop house. Earlier, there was this crazy guy in here who was throwing all his money around and buying popsicles for everyone. He was shouting, Pop Star Rules! Sup. Can I buy something? Welcome to Pop House. We serve every flavour of popsicle imaginable. Some of our most popular pops are pineapple dirt, cheddar cheese, sunflower seed, flaxamix, maxamax, hibiscus biscuit, and corn tortilla. Nice. Can I not buy any? Apparently he doesn't want my custom. Dang, my long claws are all sticky from this watermelon pop. A landscape of the northeast cucumber valleys. Painted by Hambo S. Jr. A small photograph of a smart looking popsicle. I don't understand the point of any of this. I'm reading all these things, but nothing's actually happening. Hey, Deluxe Doorman, what's up? How are you doing this weekend? I'm not really sure what to think of this game, honestly. I was hoping for an interesting story, but nothing's happened at all yet. Whenever I'm out here, I like to try and count every brick on the street. But I usually bump into someone and lose count. Okay. Let's see what we can get in Hogmart. Do I want meat chips or do I want fish bones? Uh, neither. These freezers have many strange things in them. Do people really like frozen walnuts that much? We have a sewing machine for sale, if you're interested. Sure. What kind of trick is this? You don't got any cash. I didn't think I had any money. Small bottles of banana glue and eye drops. A shelf of paperweights, bicycle tyres and oven mitts. What is all this random stuff? Full of frozen turnips. There are small boxes of almond butter bubblegum. Small box of almond bubblegum. Okay. Again, nothing to do here. A cabinet with compressed air and uncompressed air. Okay, that one's funny. What? <laughs> cancer factories cause death in hogs. He is holding a sign that reads death to cancer factories. What? Hog bank. Okay, we go to the bank. Right? What is going on? He is snoring and drooling on the counter. I really don't understand. Okay, cafe. I'm waiting for my taro root bubble tea and gelatin peanuts. Oh, you didn't ask? No, I didn't say anything. Welcome to Cafe Pio. We don't serve no melon drinks around these parts. But we do have lemon yogurt bread, if you're interested. Apparently I don't have any money. I'm so upset, I came here to Hogtown with my wife, but we ended up getting into a fight because all she wants to do is sit around and sunbathe. I'm more of the adventurous type. I'd rather be climbing trees and battling crabs. She just kept telling me to sit still, I just couldn't take it anymore. I came here to calm my senses with a refreshing melon soda, but they don't serve melon products here, like they do in Hamtown. I can't go back to my wife like this, I'm not leaving until I get a dang melon soda. Okay. Maybe there is nothing to do in this game, it's just meeting random NPCs. 
We've been waiting here for hours, but it doesn't matter as long as we get to hear Popstar's beautiful voice. I'm Popstar's biggest fan. I'm excited to finally see him perform. I wonder what's taking him so long. What up, man? I'm supposed to be performing right now, but my mic is all out of juice. Can I use those batteries? Yeah, sure. I knew I stole them for a reason. Just for helping me out, I'll let you get your paws on a rare autographed copy of my new CD. You put Popstar's CD in your backpack. Time to jam out. Cool jam. So like this game's equivalent of KK Slider. Here's a singing he's singing a quiet song about eating vanilla ice cream in a warm room. He's singing along to song. I bite my lower lip and as I reach for my spoon, the fan is on. This is my truest fill. Okay, interesting song. Let's carry on around here, I guess. I guess we're just following and finding random weird NPCs. The trees have changed. They're a lot more simple here. I came here on vacation. I found this weird thing hidden under some flowers. Can you... I, I can give it to you if you want. Sure. You put the melon drum in your backpack. I travelled here by ship. What is a melon drum? A drum carved out of half a melon. Okay. And an autographed CD. No sneezes, deluxe edition. I like the music. I'm not too sure about the game itself, though. There doesn't really seem to be anything to do. I don't know, what does anyone think in, anyone watching the stream think about this game? There seems to be no plot at all. Have I been in here? Don't think so. Strong dog's house. Does he want us? Oh, I have been in here already. Unless he wants a CD or a melon drum. No, oh, he doesn't want anything. We can go this way. Not your kind of game, but I bet some love it. Yeah, I think that's how I feel, kind of. Like, if you just want something to just relax to and meet some weird characters, maybe it's your kind of game? I don't know. They call me Ham Ghost. I like being a ghost, but it does get a little tiring after a while. Maybe it's about time to finally say goodbye to this world. The only thing holding me back is my strong desire for a taste of my best melon. What? Grapevine Graveyard. Okay, am I going to steal a hammer? really enjoying this much. There doesn't seem to be any point to anything. Which is kind of uh, a shame. I thought that Limited Run would release something with a bit more of an interesting plot. But Anyway, here we are. Hey, Tom Sutton's here! With some Game Boy love. My husband and I got in an argument because he didn't want to come to the beach with me. Oh, that's the guy who was in the cafe earlier. Where could that chump have run off to? Nice. Enjoy looking at the ice sculptures. Have a good evening. And thanks for dropping by too. When I was younger, I loved to make crafts for all my sweet friends. Now I'm so sleepy to even... I'm too tired to even leave my house and get supplies. Without a map, I think I'm going to get lost if I need to go back to anyone. Bear who saves everything's house. 
It's covered in stickers of horses and fire trucks. I'm known around here as the bear who saves everything. I even saved a life once. Just kidding. Is he just a hoarder? Bears, bear who never saves anything's house. That's the sign that used to be outside my house. Hmm. Okay, and he has a table wrapped in tinfoil. Oh, that's it! Like, you're meeting all these people and nothing happens. A fine rock. A sturdy bench. I, I, again, what's the point? Nothing's happening. I'm just walking around and interacting with random encounters. Hello, do you want something I've got? No. Can I steal something? No. It's like every party you go to. It just seems like no one's interested in who I am and I don't really have any purpose to be here. I'm just walking around. There must be some point to it. It just seems like someone had a random dream about these creatures and decided to just put them in a game. There's a pup floating in the water. He's too far away to hear you. You spoke into the seashell to make your voice louder. Whoa, no need to shout. Are you trying to eat that shell or something? I've tried that before. It's always, it always chips my teeth. I've found that sea cucumbers are much easier to digest and they taste great in salad too. You seem like a nice person. Go ahead, ask me about anything. Okay, again, it's just random. <laughs> Being in the sea, ocean pup. Why am I in the sea? You're supposed to be finding your friend. Oh yeah, that was the original purpose, but I guess we're just finding random people instead. Yeah, wasn't it that they were they were at a campfire or something and your friend went off and there was a storm? Well, when I was first born, my parents accidentally dropped me off at the side of a boat. Thankfully, a mama dolphin found me and raised me like one of her own. I was at the top of my class in dolphin school, man. I was born to ride these waves. Amen. Now it's my turn to ask you a question. What are you looking for in life? What's that? You can't find your friend. Oh my god, it got brought up. There we go. Well, I haven't seen anyone like you here recently. I'll tell my pals underwater to keep an eye out. You know, now that we're such good friends... I want to give you a pop style gift. Just give me one second. Here you are. A beautiful bag of ocean salt for my new friend. Carefully dug up from underneath a giant sleeping turtle. You put the ocean salt in your backpack. I must have woken the turtle. I can feel him pulling up my paws. Got a dash. Find me later. I might have some info about your missing friend. Okay, so we have some stuff now. We have a lot of stuff. We have a hammer, probably used by a ghost for cracking walnuts, okay. We have a seashell. And I guess that's a new thing. Salt dug up by an ocean pup. I mean, I appreciate it, because it's kind of cute, but it's also all kind of just random. Can I not use the hammer to break the rocks? No, I guess you can't really use items like that, so... We've been everywhere here, I guess. Where to next? Do we tell this ghost about the hammer? Nope. He's just floating around. How long we've we been playing this one? Twenty five minutes. I don't know where to go now. Oh, 
And if we bring up here? Yeah, we bring it. Oh, there's another pup in the water there. Has he found my friend? <clears throat> hey man, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is that the, that the turtle only bit my tail a little before I could escape. And the bad news is I think I might know where your friend is. No, wait, I guess I should only have good news then. Mulberry the goldfish said she saw someone like you sleeping near a stream that runs through the forest. I think that stream might be somewhere near Kitten King's castle. You should go ask Kitten Princess if she knows where to find your friend. I'm sure she would be glad to help. Good luck. Peace out. Okay. I don't think I can ask the Kitten Princess because the King won't let me speak to anyone. Uh, where was it? It wasn't that way, was it? It was a dead end. Have I gone too far? Let's see. Do you want anything? Or maybe I got something that they can use for shoes now? Attempting the final Advance Wars 2 level. Oh my god, you'll be on that a long time. Advance Wars 2 is crazy difficult. Well done for getting all the way to the end of it. Okay, I guess if I gave him something, I kind of skipped that a little bit. Oh, I got some ice! Yay! I missed what I gave them, I guess it was the salt. Oh yeah, the salt to melt the ice. So now we have ice, we can go back to the start of the game and give it to whatever animal wanted ice to help make their drink colder. For some reason. Okay, let's not go there just yet. Is he in here? Yeah. Here you go. Have some ice. It feels colder in here. You got some ice? Put it in this glass, quick. He takes one sip and exhales deeply. Will that really hit the spot? Here, I don't need all this. Please take a can of soda for all your help. You put a can of melon soda in your backpack. Hooray! Now let's go and see if we can talk to the guy's daughter. What are you doing in my castle? I'm trying to talk to my daughter. Nice try, but you don't look like a cat. Okay, I suppose I have to either convince a cat to go there on my behalf. Or get a cat costume or something. So the next thing is go and give the melon soda to the guy in the cafe because he didn't like any of the drinks that they had on offer. Which is here. Even though I think it says cape, not cafe. Right, let's see if he wants my drink. I can't go back to my wife like this. I'm not leaving until I get a dang melon soda. Here you go. Where did you find this? No time to talk. He thirstily drinks the entire can. Ah, I feel much better now. I'm going to sit here and reflect on my life choices. Here, take these handbooks. It's the least I can do. Yay, now I actually have money. Now I can go to... Hogmart. And buy a sewing machine. No man, we don't accept that kind of coin and dollar around here. Oh, okay. 20 ham books has a drawing of the President of Ham Student Council. Okay, I'm stuck again now. I thought I was supposed to give him the money. Let's try taking it to the bank. Are you sleeping? There's a cute glass with a mint green strawberry on the side. Oh, I thought it was a bell. Is there no way of waking him up? Okay, I guess we don't use the money there then. Anyone want something for some money? I've got money. They love listening to that guy. Uh, I've missed something there. I can't grab the CD because I'm 
holding this giant ghost melon. Let's trade. Okay, I guess I just gave him the CD. If you're at Pop's house later, I'll buy you a banana yogurt pop. Okay, so we traded something. And we got a ghost melon. Let's go and take it to the graveyard then, I suppose. <coughs> So most of this game just seems to be just trading with random people and random things. Okay, let's see. Do you want a ghost melon? Yo, they call me Ham Ghost. Wait, is that a ghost melon I smell? Can I take a small bite? Sure. Ah, sweet succulent ghost melon. Thank you, my friend. Goodbye, my time has come. That's all he needed. He watched as he ascended into the sky, leaving behind a small piece of white fabric. You put the fabric in your backpack. Okay. What do I do with that? A pillowcase with holes. <laughs> Two holes cut out for ice. <laughs> a traditional ghost. If ever there was one. I don't know what to do with all this junk that I've got now. Let's see, what do I actually have? I have some money, I have a hammer. I have a melon drum, a seashell, and some money and a pillowcase. Do you want anything? No. Nope. He's just showing off his teeth for some reason. Let's see what's up here. A cat that's been naughty and stunned on the virus. I don't know what to do again, though. Do you want anything? Here, let's say, uh, what do you want? Nothing. I might just need to just talk to random people now, because I don't know who would need any of these things. Maybe he'll be at the shop now and buy me something? No, I've already read that. Can I buy anything with the money that I was given? No. What's the point of coming into a shop if you're not allowed to buy anything? Hogmart. Can I buy anything in here? No. Still doesn't let me use any of my weird money. I think that guy gave me some fake money. I don't know what to do now. Let's see if this guy over here wants anything. He's singing along to the song. That's all. Do you want anything while you're singing? No. Let's go and try this rabbit over here. No, nothing. I might stop playing this game here. I'm really not enjoying it much. It's just a weird fetch quest with characters that I don't care about. Rooster Reed, thank you for the follow. I was about to stop playing now, but I guess I can do one more. 